let me, in chapter 29, torque is mu crossed into B, where, is, where mu is defined as the current in a loop times the area of the loop. And this one is called the magnetic moment. The magnetic moment of a current carrying loop. And its units are amps times meter square, which is defined as a Weber, which is just uh, the You know what? No, no, this one is not the Weber, sorry. The Weber is the, the magnetic flux, units of magnetic flux. I don't think this one has an abbreviation. It's just amp meter square. Magnetic moment of current carrying loop. Yeah, so it's just amp meter square. This one is the, the potential energy of a magnetic uh, dipole, of a magnetic moment, minus mu dotted into B. Now, as usual, whenever I introduce a new topic, if there is a similar topic in the past, I like to make the connections, you know, so you can see the connections and the relationship. If you remember back in chapter 26, we studied uh, electrical dipole moment. Let's do a quick review of that. You had uh, negative Q and you had positive Q. And whenever you had two charges that were linked together, somehow connected, we call that a electrical dipole, right? And the dipole moment is defined as twice the half of the distance. So A is a vector from the negative to the, to uh, A is a vector, let's see if I erase this here. A is a vector from the negative charge to the midpoint. A is a vector from the, the negative charge to the midpoint. So the dipole moment is defined as twice the vector A, so which means it's the, it's the distance vector, times the charge Q. So the units of the electrical dipole were what? Uh, meter times Coulomb. And no abbreviation again. So then if I turn on an electrical field, what's going to happen to the dipole, okay? The negative charge is going to feel a force that way. The positive charge is going to feel a force this way, right? And so it's going to rotate like this. And as we saw, what's going to happen is it's going to rotate past the midpoint and then go this way. So it's going to rotate like this, and then it's going to eventually end up like like this, then it's going to turn, end up like that, and then it's going to go back. Come, go back, go down, go back, go down, go back, okay? The, the lowest potential energy is when it's lined up, right? U is minus P dot E. That's the lowest potential energy that it can get, the most negative, right? Well, same thing exactly is true with this one. So if I have a, a coil, instead of having two charges that are tied, a coil, a complete coil, has what's known as a magnetic moment. And if you have a number of turns, they're all coming down, going up like this. So imagine it looks something like this. I, let me draw a better picture. Like this, goes up, comes down, goes up. So basically, it's like something that looks like this. Then you have a number of turns coming this way, coming down, 
coming down. Okay? So the, uh, the magnetic moment, here's the way to figure out the direction of the magnetic moment vector. The magnetic moment is equal to Ia, right? But if it has n number of turns, it's Nia. Because each time the current is coming around, it enhances itself. So the magnetic moment increases, 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 right? So the direction of the magnetic moment vector is the same as the area vector. So the area vector is what? In calculus, you learn that the area vector of a surface is always coming out of the surface, right? According to the right-hand rule. So the magnetic moment vector is this way. And now if I turn on a magnetic field, what's going to happen? Same thing as what we just uh, reviewed for electrical dipole. The coil is going to feel a torque, and the torque is going to make it go down and all the way down to this position. Go down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. And the lowest potential energy that it's going to have is when it's, when it's aligned with the magnetic field, right? So that's why the potential energy is negative mu dotted into B because when it's aligned, U minimum, when it's aligned, what's the potential energy? Negative mu B cosine of zero, which is one, right? So the lowest potential energy is minus mu B. Now, it's always good to ask yourself whenever you meet with either equations like this or whatever, to ask yourself, does this really have units of energy? It's supposed to have units of joules, right? So do a little unit analysis. Every once in a while, do, always do a unit analysis. The, mag the units of magnetic moment mu is, uh, we just said it's amp meter square times Teslas. Okay. So is, does that have units of joules? Well, so far it doesn't look like it does, right? But what is a Tesla? Well, go back to the equation F equals QV crossed into B. If you want to know the definition of a Tesla, a Tesla is defined to be Newton per Coulomb per meter per second. Right? That's the definition of a Tesla. Newton per Coulomb per meter per second. So take that definition of a Tesla and put it down there. 